take off. You see, the governor in this presentation talked about SOEs owing a lot of debt, creating problems for everybody. Yes, the SOEs owe a lot of debt. But the question is, what is the origin of this debt owed by the SOEs? Let's be straight. Now, VRA, for about 10 years, the world rating bodies for the best managed hydro plants in the world put VRA as the number two in the world, or with the number one. As an institution, they are classified as excellent hydro managers. They produce the power, transmit, it gets the end, and they are not paid back. Thema oil refinery refines the product disused by the system. They are never paid back. Now, this kind of system we as a country have managed for a long time is giving a dog a bad name and hanging it. Some of these institutions, from their point of operation, have done very well. But people don't want to pay the right price for utilities and for other things. So we have a situation where items produced for usage are never paid for at the back. So what happens? Today I heard the Minister of Energy saying that 21% gets lost, what they call technical losses. So you, are, you have 100, 21 is lost. So you are selling 79 to pay for 100. That's what it is. And then 65% of the people who have bought, the money is not collected. So what happens? People who have used their power are not also paying for it. And companies have used electricity, they are arranged with those who collect their bills, etc., and paid very little or nothing. In between, people have all kinds of connections. They don't pay for the power they use. So what happens to VRA? There's a shortfall of energy. I have done it on two occasions since we came to power. VRA needs letters of credit to get in crude oil, so that we can produce energy. Nobody wants to do so. So there's pressure on the Minister of Finance. The Minister of Finance had to call banks for the banks to give LC to VRA to bring in the necessary crude oil to produce power. I've done at least two calls. I've recalled an MD of a bank to come here, to come to Accra, to confirm an LC to enable us to have oil to generate power, which is not paid for. In the end, it's not paid for. Because when it gets to the end user, the money doesn't come. The worry of the World Bank today, the Minister of Finance knows, is that all our compact that America did with us was to straighten the operations of ECG. Because the way we are going, we can't have a reliable source of energy to run this country. And without energy, there's no economy. Without energy, there is no economy. So we can't have a situation where all those who are producing the power in between are not paid for the services they render. And to make things worse, after they've borrowed the money, they don't pay the banks as well. So as I speak, if you take VRA's balance sheet and you look at the banks that have lent money to VRA and VRA have not been able to pay them, if you really do a net to net about four or five banks collapse immediately on the grounds of the quality of the assets because the old VRA. VRA has been paid to them and we continue to force these banks to provide LC to support VRA's operations. This is the situation we find ourselves. So let us do the, set, the things right. And let us pay the right prices for what we consume, no matter what so that the institutions themselves operate profitably. It's important for us to have strong institutions, not strong individuals.